Hello, and welcome back to another Resolume slash Juice Bar plugin tutorial. Today we'll be looking at DOS Strober, a powerful strobing tool built for Resolume. Now Resolume has its own strobe plugin, but it only allows you to strobe a full screen and add some color to it. It only has simple controls. But what if you have a logo or a layer of content that you want to strobe? Enter DOS Strober. For this tutorial, we're gonna use the same content as in our last tutorial, namely the DJ name logo, which is already applied here. Now, once we have the DJ, <clears throat> once we have our content up, we can apply DOS Strober straight to the layer. Now, again, you can apply this to the layer, the composition or clip, completely up to you. What we're gonna do real quick is we're just gonna run down all the controls in DOS Strober. At the very top, you have your alpha and opacity. Now, these two, again, come standard in all plugins in Resolume. Underneath that, we have our first set of wire-defined controls. Essentially, it asks the question, what to strobe? See, what to strobe? In Dust Strober, you have two, two different choices. You can either strobe a solid color or whatever content is on, in this case, that layer or clip or composition under the layer content. Underneath that, you have a manual trigger for your strobe. Since it's set to solid color right now, if I trigger the manual, it strobes a white color, which should be, which should be something that you know, you're used to in, um, in Resolume as that's essentially the basic what you get basically out of the box with the Resolume built-in plugin. Underneath that, we have the strobe on. Now there's three different settings for strobe on, and they're like this for a very good reason. By default, strobe off, or well, the off button, if set to the layered content, you, you'll see that the content actually plays through. When set to solid color, you'll get nothing. And that's just so that when you first load up the plugin, you're not greeted with a big white screen completely ruining your mix. But if, for example, we were to start it off on layer content, you would have whatever layer content already playing in the background. So again, and this is just a convenience thing, so it doesn't mess up the flow of your mix. Going over to on, you, you're essentially turning on DOS Strober. And we'll see why it's actually not doing anything yet. And that has to do with the next two sets of controls, the speed control and the frequency. And if you choose empty, it's essentially like off, but there is no, uh, there's no content playing through. And this, again, is mostly to be used in conjunction with later content. If you're strobing you know, a logo and you wanna cut it off without you know, really messing with the uh, the settings of the program, you can easily choose empty and it's off. Or if you were strobing a logo and you wanted to stop the strobe and still have the logo be present, you would choose the off button. So again, this is all built from the point of view of a VJ and what and how I would use and how I essentially do use this plugin. Now, if we go back to the on, like we said earlier, it's set to on, but we're not seeing any strobe. It's not making with the blinky blinky. Well, that's because if we go down to the next set of controls, our speed controls, it's by default set to slider. And again, this is a preference sort of thing, but I know a lot of VJs who like to have their strobe linked to a manual fader, a up or down or left or right you know, fader. And when it's set to slider, it uses whatever set, whatever the frequency is set to, which is currently set to zero, so it's not really blinking. But if we grab the frequency and we start bringing it up, you'll start seeing it strobing. And the higher you bring it, the faster it strobes. All the way up. All the way down. Now, if you don't want to use a slider to control it, you have a set of buttons one over one, half, one fourth, eighth, sixteenth, and 32. And what this does is it strobes based upon the BPM. So one to one, it pretty much strobes on and off 
every beat. On, off, on, off. If you choose half, half time, it's faster. One fourth, one eighth, one sixteenth, one thirty two. And all of these are MIDI assignable. So again, if you want to use the slider, you can use the slider or you can use the buttons. Unfortunately, right now, I don't have it set up to use both. If that's a popular feature request, I'm pretty sure I can implement it as need be. But for the next, uh, this next control, the strobe wave right here, for uh, demonstration purposes, I'm going to set it to one fourth. Actually, I'll go to one half. Now for the strobe wave, what this does is it controls how the strobe is being applied. Essentially in the background, the strobe is being controlled by a set of oscillators. We have a square wave, triangle, sine, and saw. By default, it's set to square, so you get the pretty basic blink on, blink off strobe effect that we all know and love. If we choose triangle, it uses a triangle wave. And you'll notice now that the name is fading in and out, in and out. If you choose sign, you'll notice that it's, it's a little more of a dramatic fade in and out. And again, this is due to how the, the sine wave, how the sine wave moves in comparison to a triangle wave. And if you choose the saw wave, you'll see it fades in and then cuts hard out. So again, you have four different ways to control a strobe, which again, I find that this level of control to be so useful. It's a great and easy way to kind of switch up your strobe throughout the night, or you know, depending upon what kind of content you're using. And as always, I have the little colorize effect at the very bottom. And again, this is for convenience sake. You can never, as a VJ, I find that the closer you can get to a color change, the, the better and happier you'll keep uh, tour managers and lighting lighting designers. So this this is DOS Throwover. It is a new uh, plugin coming to the Resolume Juice Bar. Uh, this concludes the tutorial. I thank you guys for listening. If you uh, would like, subscri like, subscribe, and comment. Um, if you have any questions or feature bug requests. Uh, there'll be contact information in the little doobly-doo down there. I uh, hope you check it out, and happy VJing.